everybody, how you doing? Back to my roots here. Boondocking, no hookups. Got the solar panels tilted, trying to gather some of this uh, Florida solar that's a little lower in the winter time and doing pretty well. It's a little later in the afternoon now, but we did reach 84 degrees here. <laughs> um, and I haven't made it quite to the coast yet. Like I said, well, going back, a lot of my subscribers lost their mind when I said I had joined Thousand Trails and I was gonna possibly do some resorts down in Florida. Like, very strange. Look, still gonna boondog without anything. <laughs> No power, no water, no electricity, no TV stations. And it's quiet out here. I parked as far away from most of these campers, which are also hunters. A lot of people are hunting in this area, gone in the daytime and they party at night. But uh, this is called Three Lakes WMA, which is a wildlife management area, a lot like BLM back out west. Just called something different, 14 day max free camping, 100% free. But anyway, I won't go on and on about all the resources I use. Uh, you know, my life is changing every single month on the road. I've been on YouTube over five years now, been full-timing for over eight years in an RV, living in an RV, and I'm constantly changing. <laughs> I'm improving the quality of life on a daily basis, essentially. And I have a lot of tools uh, to help me and Jax really enjoy life on the road. So. Don't be afraid to change guys on the channel. I know I share a lot of information on this channel and I make you guys go through a lot of changes. Um, but like I said, it's all for the good. It's still me and it's still Jax. And we have a lot of excitement rolling into 2019 for where this channel is going to lead. And I appreciate you guys sticking around. I just want you to hear how quiet this place is though. All these campers and you can't even hear anything. Like I said, I think most of them are gone. Last night was pretty loud here. Like after 10 p.m., this place was a party zone. It's what you get out of the free stuff. But it's pretty nice. Yeah, we chilling. We're chilling. At the end of January, Jax is going to need his annual checkup. Do his, uh, make sure his, all his vaccines are up to date so he can travel anywhere. Don't know where we'll make that appointment, but when the time comes we'll figure that out we need to find out how his uh, weight management has been working doctor wanted the high protein and the more frequent feedings so we do five feedings with the smaller portions rather than two half cups uh, so he eats more often but less we've, we've been tricking in the last year i haven't got him in for a midpoint weight or anything so i don't know if he still weighs 24 pounds or what We'll see. We'll make more changes if we need to, but you're a pretty healthy guy. You've logged more cat miles than any cat I know. Yeah. You like the chin scratches? Okay, he likes the chin scratches. He does. We like it out here, huh? Florida's nice in the winter. Oh, birds? Yeah, that's a bird. I know, that's a big bird. What is that? That's a big, big bird could have took you away. Keep an eye on my boy. <laughs> Gotta get inside and make dinner. I'm making dinner in the RV. Okay. Oh, okay. Anything, anything else? Okay. And so ironically, the low overnight tonight is gonna be 72 degrees. Yeah, it's gonna drop down as low as 72 degrees. So it's gonna be one of those nights where I'm perfectly happy leaving all of the windows open and maybe even a fan running in the bed area just to just to try to keep cool. Uh, it's the it's the sacrifice Florida in the winter as far as humidity and nightly temperatures, daily highs in the 80s and stuff. But I'm still really super excited about it. So not not deterred from the weather and the humidity just yet, as we are going to go much much farther south in Florida. Yeah, working on my favorite RV meal, spaghetti dinner with meatballs. I don't really care for the cleanup part of it because the, you know, red sauce and other things, but 
Oh, we're really fogged up. Sorry about that. But it's worth it. It's worth it. Woo! Humidity. Florida. Woo! Give me pasta. All right. Meatballs and garlic bread. Whoa. And, you know, I like to make three meals worth. Generally, that way there's less cooking next time. I can do some microwave and just cook up some fresh noodles or something. So, cook a little bit more, that way it's easier later. Does that make sense? Oh man, oh I did good, I did real good. Oh man, turkey meatballs, and I got, I love my milk. And yeah, maybe not the wisest decision to cook so much oven and stove food on a day, on a night where it's still 81 degrees right now. I'm, uh, it's a little warm still. But, only got a few episodes left of Better Call Saul. They're up to season three on Netflix. I'm on episode six, so that's how we do that. Well, good morning, guys. Don't know if we saw any actual star movement last night. It may have been just too cloudy, but it was sure uh, noisy here, like I said, after 10 p.m. You just kind of accept it. It's a free campground in the middle of nowhere. So uh, I'm gonna go jump in the shower here in a minute. I like boondocking, it's really fun. It's uh, just totally different than being hooked into power. Well, one thing I wanna say though, is that in the winter time, you know, you're really relying on solar when you're boondocking, okay? So I have to wait until the sun hits my panels. And then the days end so quickly, like the sun sets at like I think 450 here in this area. So your days are shorter with solar, so you're relying on your battery longer. Does that make sense? Your batteries. So, I mean, even in the winter time when I've tilted the panels and everything, I still have to physically run the generator for a couple hours every night while boondocking in the winter. It's just, I don't have enough solar on the roof. And maybe one day I get more solar or upgrade my batteries to make it work a little better. But it works just fine. I don't mind running the generator a little bit. I like to do it at night. Like if the sun sets at five o'clock, 5 p.m. and I'm gonna be in bed by 11 p.m. I like to run it for like an hour or two right in the middle of that. You know, because I'm probably going to be watching TV or on the laptop or doing something that requires some power straight off the battery. So there yeah. we go. And feeling refreshed now. Uh, sunshine's peeking through a little bit. And by the way, um, I'm just a little bit uneasy about gators sometimes. So when I came out this morning, you know, just as the sun was getting ready to come out, I jumped past the RV, looked underneath to make sure there wasn't one. And with this tall grass, there's just no way that I'm gonna let Jax come out here and uh, walk around out here, even with me on a leash. I just don't trust this swampy lake area. So that's why I'd rather have Jax in my arms in a place where gators are possible. Um, and I kind of just changed my mind this afternoon. I feel like two nights out here was good enough for me. So I wanna get back to the city uh, for a little bit of civilization stuff. Need some milk, a few other things. So that's what we'll do. I'll pack up, put the panels back flat on the roof, and we'll head out of here. All right, buddy, let's see if we can uh, get out of here without running over any nails. People like to burn mattresses in these free campgrounds and pallets with nails. I always check within like 10 miles, like just get on the main road. Then once we get to a gas station, I'll pull out, check all my tires, make sure there's no metal debris from these free campsites. I still highly recommend this one if you can deal with like one bar of service, which for me was enough to run Netflix last night. Uh, with my booster though, nobody else gets any service out here for AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, or Verizon. So something to consider, but you know, it's nature. You come out here for the experience of being away from society, which is where I'm going back to now, <laughs> if I can find my way. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 
You also might notice that some of the people living through here seem to be a little more comfortable than others. Maybe like they're here for the entire season. Look at that. There's a vault toilet up here. Huh. Okay, did not know that. Alrighty, back to this dirt road now. And we are officially headed for the coast. Today, we should be near the Atlantic Ocean, Jacks, man. I know that's exciting. You, oh, okay. I'll, I'll do the driving. You just go ahead and sleep. Okay. Okay, we're parked. Jack's chilling. Fan going. Let's step outside. Nothing amazing, but thank you, Cracker Barrel, for being the new Walmarts, basically. <laughs> Still have not found a Cracker Barrel that doesn't allow some overnight parking. And, uh, yeah, we got one other RV behind me, a uh, rental Cruise America over there. Uh, otherwise, um, I'm going to cut this video right here because uh, I want to go explore the beach tomorrow, not necessarily today. So stay tuned for my uh, next video from hopefully the Atlantic Ocean. Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye.